All right, straight ahead, we get to a middleweight matchup between Nick Diaz and George Rush St. Pierre. All right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction. GSP, wildly popular, not just in his native Canada, but around the world. Many people, DC, believe, pound for pound, that George St. Pierre might be the greatest UFC fighter of all time. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. If there was an MMA Mount Rushmore, George St. Pierre would be on everybody's list of top five fighters of all time. Just an ability to mix everything together. He was truly the evolution of mixed martial arts from the wrestling, the striking to the grappling. He was a guy that did everything and did everything well, and it made the level of mixed martial arts raise because everyone was trying to catch GSP. And I got good news right next to him on that Mount Rushmore. Daniel Cormier, raise that hand! Come on, John, <laughs> All right, here he is, and still one of the biggest stars in the sport, DC. Nick Diaz back for the first time in a long time, and the fans are excited to see what he can do. You know he's coming in shape, so we'll see how it goes for him tonight. Nick Diaz will always be prepared to fight because when he's away, he's competing in triathlons. He's staying in shape. He's swimming. He's riding his bike. He's doing so many things. He's constantly grappling. He has his own academy out in Stockton. A guy that's never too far away from mixed martial arts. Nick Diaz has competed in some of the biggest fights in mixed martial arts history, and tonight, he looks to leave his mark again. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter, GSP is two years his senior. Diaz is two inches taller, the reach is identical. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. Pierre! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, we'll write you point. to take him down and allow the clock to run. Last time, he didn't get to stand as much as he wanted to, but that's not by choice. George St. Pierre was able to implement the game plan and got the victory. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Those punches to the body are really starting to take it close. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's seeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Superman punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. St. Pierre shot his block. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. So nice. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Beautiful punch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Potentially a critical takedown here. Full guard knife. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice hammer fist. St. Pierre's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Diaz. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Second round underway. Oh, 
big punch man. Ball oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Lands the right hand. Oh, Diaz's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bits to get in there. We'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Just a slip there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice straight punch. He's just out of range with the big right hand. Lunges forward with a left there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Working out of that southpaw stance. Good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie club. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, Superman punch is good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice losing punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, straight right. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, we got to look. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You do. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's going to attack on bar here. Picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Diaz. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. St. Pierre's lower jaw now started to show signs of slowing. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by CSP. Lands with the right hand. One minute now to go round two. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by George St. Pierre. Got the ground and pound going now. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Third round underway. Nice try. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive and... Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, he's got his back now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. St. Pierre's back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back from his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him up and go to the finish. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace. And all right, so he catches. The, all right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drills on, that go, exact action, and it works in this instance. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You 
never know where he's going to be. St. Pierre's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Diaz. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Diaz is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round. He is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Ooh, big shot, man. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression. Oh! He's trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, my Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He oh! Huge right hand! Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. P. moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete right i know you enjoyed the birth of your kids right but yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight i can't think of anything better i mean there's nothing like it you know you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights and tonight he got that done and he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight